Close your eyes and watch your breath. All the way in, all the way out. It's a way of being anchored in the present moment. Of course, when you meditate, most of the attention is in the present moment, but sometimes it's good to reflect on the past and the future, especially at the end of a year like this. It's the time of endings, but also the time of beginnings and the time of continuings. Look back on the past year, and all too often we look back on the year like this and we say, what were the good times we had? A more useful thing would be to ask yourself, what were the good things you did? To think about the good things you've done in terms of being virtuous, in terms of being generous, generous with your time, generous with your material things, generous with your knowledge, your help for others. Those are good things to keep in mind, because they lift your spirits. And then when your spirits are lifted, then you can ask yourself another question. What were the things that you did wrong? You want your spirits lifted first so that you don't think of yourself simply as being a miserable person who has no good to him or her at all. Think of your goodness first, and then think of areas where you could bring other parts of your life up to that level of goodness. In other words, build on your strengths. And think about the coming year. What can you do in the coming year to build on your strengths and make them even stronger, and to compensate for your weaknesses and turn them into areas where you're strong too? That's the most useful way of looking at the beginnings and ends of years. After all, it is just a convention. When the sun rose this morning, it didn't say only two or three days left to the end of the year. The convention is something that we put together as human beings. But we can make good use of it. After all, without conventions, there wouldn't be a Dharma to, for the Buddha to teach, who wouldn't have language to teach in. We wouldn't have ways of talking to ourselves, of figuring ourselves out, figuring out what's the most skillful thing to do. We require conventions in order to do this. So you've got the convention. Make use of it. Make good use of it. And that way, each year as it passes becomes a year of progress, as you learn how to judge yourself not against the values of the world outside, but against the values that the Dharma laid out, the Dharma has laid out, as being of genuine worth inside your mind. One of the reasons we have so many problems about self-esteem in the present world is there are so many conflicting systems of values. You do something good according to one system, and another system says, no, it's bad. And after all, I get confused. This is one of the reasons why having faith in the Buddha's awakening is an important part of the practice. Because what he found was not just his own personal opinions about things. He found a truth that doesn't change and doesn't depend on conditions, doesn't depend on cultures. So we can measure ourselves against that and find that we do develop genuine worth inside as we try to bring ourselves up to that standard. So use that standard. The idea that being a human being depends on being generous, being virtuous, and gaining some control over your mind, having goodwill for yourself, goodwill for all beings. That's what makes us human beings. Try to develop those qualities, and whatever they're lacking, you've got some more time to make up the lack. Because there will come a time when you reflect back on your life and that's it. There's nothing more to Think of in terms of the future, because you'll be moving from this life to another one. At that point, you want to focus totally on the good things you've done and the good things you continue to want to do. But for right now, you can focus on the areas where you want to make improvements. So that when the time comes that you're looking back on your whole life, you see that it was progress. The body may progress and then regress. But it is possible for the mind to keep on progressing all the way up to the last breath. So make this a life that you can look back on with pride. <laughs>